Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sinisha and this is Pips of Future Highlight. In today's episode, we're going to focus on menus and navigation that you can either enable in Pipso itself or use the native WordPress menu manager to add menus. We are going to discuss the header menus. Eventually, we're going to have the footer menu as well. My site is created, so it automatically loads more, but eventually we're going to have the menus in footer as well. So I'm just going to open a different page that it's not auto loading the activity stream. So we're going to we're going to have the menu right here in the footer. And also we are going to discuss menus that have been added through widgets like this one and this menu over here. So let's start with it. Once you install Pipso for the first time, some additional pages will be added to the list of all pages available on your website. And you can find them here in WordPress dashboard, then going to pages, all pages. They will all be listed here. And we will use those pages as links by going into appearance and then menus. Before we add them to the menu though, we first need to create our first menu. So let's give it a name. I am going to call it main header navigation and then put that main header navigation menu into header menu. This display location will vary depending on the theme that you are using. I am currently using the Gecko theme and the Gecko theme had, has a header menu, mobile menu and footer menu. Let's save it one more time just to be sure. And then I'm going to add all of those pages that have been created for me. I'm going to add them here in the menu by simply selecting them. Forgot password, it's not needed. I'm going to add members, messages, notifications. Reset password does not have to be in the menu. Site registration doesn't have to be there either. And I think that's it for now. I'm just going to click add to menu and save the menu. Now let's take a look what happened on the front end of the website. So I'm going to go community and open this in a new tab so I can easily come back here to adjust if something is not looking as expected. And exactly as I thought, it's not looking as I expected. It's, it's going into two lines and I don't want to do that. And I also want to change the name of, the me of these menus over here and I want to rearrange them so they look a little bit nicer. So let's get back over here and start making adjustments. Let's start with a recent activity. I want that to be called community, not recent activity. So I'm just going to expand this menu and change the label from recent activity to community. Okay. Now for the members, I want that to be sub menu for the community. I am just going to drag it like this messages are going to be the sub menu of user profile and also notification menu is going to be the sub menu for user profile. I also want to change user profile link and just call it a profile. Let's save the menu. And now when I refresh this page, let's see what happens. It is all nice and tidy, right? But let me show you one more thing that you can do. If you don't want to create sub menus like this, let's quickly go back to our menu and change it to how it was. Save the menu. Let's see if that is going to change. Yes, it's gonna make my uh, menu into two lines. Now, if this happens to you, and you are using the Gecko theme and you want to change that, you can easily go to the Gecko theme, then Gecko Customizer, go to theme, then find the header and enable long menu support. Publish this. 
let's refresh the page and now when there is no more room in the menu this new hamburger icon will be shown and it's going to store all the all the menu items that cannot be displayed or do not have enough space to be displayed in the header menu so you have a couple of different options for the menu i myself i prefer drop downs so i'm going to disable this publish it and now go back to the wordpress go back to the to my menus and repeat the process of creating the actual submenus for my menu okay let's keep it like that i like it like that and that's all i have to do for my header menu let's refresh it and now it's nice and tidy again this header menu will automatically be picked up in the mobile menu if you don't want to change it if you want to keep the same structure for your desktop and mobile screens so if you take a look over here now i have the simulation of the iphone xr in my left part of the screen and when i click on the menu it's going to show me the community and profile links exactly how it's created in the header menu however if i want to create a completely separate mobile menu i can do that by creating a new menu let's call it mobile menu select the mobile menu and create it now we are going to add all the links or pages that we want to display in this menu let's keep it like this and save the menu now when i refresh the page my mobile menu is going to be different than my actual header menu on the desktop all right so let's close all of this change it to desktop and you can see that my menu is different on the desktop compared to the mobile screen finally let's create one more menu and put it in the footer all right so we are going to create a new menu one more time and call it a footer menu put it in the footer and create menu and just like that we now have another menu where we can uh, store our links so let's do it like this user profile add to menu and save this menu now let's open the community page actually that's a very bad page to open because it's gonna load all the time let's open members scroll all the way down and you can already see in my footer that there is a new menu over here in the footer this menu is very good because you can add links to your terms of service or um, privacy policies or whatever you have on your website you can store it in this link in this menu over here in the footer as well now let's take a look at the menus that you can add with widgets or pipso configuration for the purposes of this video i disabled all the widgets that were adding the menus so as you can see i don't have the user bar widget here anymore and i don't have the pipso profile widget in the left sidebar anymore but i left this toolbar over here if you want to disable this toolbar i'm going to show you how later in the video but first i'm going to publish some widgets to do that we need to go to appearance and then widgets and first thing you want to do here in the header widget when you're using the gecko theme is to click on the plus icon 
and look for user bar. This user bar widget, when enabled, will allow you to have this part over here with the notifications, name, avatar, and even the menu. You can change all of these things. You can change the content position. You can change what uh, guest view is going to view when there is a uh, when there is a user that is not registered on your website, you can either hide this widget completely or show the login link if you wish. You can, you can change the name style. Let's hide the name completely from the widget. Save it. So now when I refresh this page, the name will be completely gone. Only avatar and the menu will be there. Let's change the menu to short style. Compact mode is going to uh, squeeze the, the, the widget into a little icon. So let's, let me show you how it's going to work. So you need to, you need to actually click first in order to see it and then close it. This is very useful for the, for the mobile, but I will show you in the mobile screen how you can change how you can make the difference in the layout when when this mode is actually disabled. So for now, let's update this so I can explain all the other options. Avatar, notifications, user drop-down menu, logout icon, and VIP icons will obviously display or hide all of those things. Okay, so let me refresh the page and enter the mobile screen okay so now what i was talking about here in the compact mode if i disable it and update now when i refresh the page this looks a little bit nicer to me logo is hidden though but you can remove the name let's uh, hide the name completely, update it, now refresh, and now this header on the mobile looked a little bit nicer to me. I don't know, if you, if you prefer to have it hidden, you can obviously do that, enable the compact mode on, on the mobile, and have it hidden if you wish. I myself pre prefer to have it open in the compact mode, so I'm just going to disable it and update this widget. It's all up to you, actually. So let's leave the mobile simulation. And now I'm going to add another widget that is going to display my profile here in the left sidebar. To do that, I'm going to find the left sidebar position in sidebar left, expand it, click on the plus icon and look for profile. Find the Pipso profile widget, enable it. I'm going to push it up on top. And now I'm going to show notifications, show community links, and I'm even going to show the cover. Update it. Let's switch back to the site. And now I have all of the community links and my profile links here in the left sidebar as well. Now, the common question we get in support is how to remove this doubled or even tripled notifications. You see, I have uh, navigation over here, I have navigation over there, and I want to remove all of this. I already show you how to remove notifications from the widget. So let's remove them. Don't show notifications. Update. Refresh this page. Now uh, notifications are gone from here, but how to remove this navigation over there on the top? 
we will go back to the WordPress dashboard, then Pipso configuration, appearance, and then we are going to disable Pipso navigation bar. Let's disable it, save the settings. Now let's refresh the page and just like that, the navigation toolbar is absolutely gone from your website. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you now have a clearer picture how to manage your navigations and menu items. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification icon. If you have further questions, do post them in the comments below. We read all of them and reply accordingly. Until the next video, I wish you all the best. Bye.